Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to a video in which we will take a look at all the hounds you can get in Warframe. Hounds are special companions you can get by defeating the Sisters of Parwas. There are three kinds in total, the Bahira, Dorma and Heck models, which all come with their unique weapons and mods. We will take a look at every single one of them, but first, we need to take a look at the absolute basics. Each sister has a robotic hound that you will have to kill many, many times during your sister hunting missions. After you are at the end and you successfully kill or vanquish the sister of Parwas that was assigned to you, you will get the blueprints for four parts for the hound. Model, core, stabilizer and bracket. If you craft these parts and bring them to legs at Fortuna, you will now be able to customize your hound. As I mentioned before, there are three models, but there are also three brackets, three stabilizers and three cores, which all bring you something different. The model of the hound will get you one audit mod and a special weapon you can only put on your hound. We will look at those at the end of the video. The core will only determine the stats of your hound, the bracket will give you one denial mod and will also determine the stats of your hound, and lastly the stabilizer will get you one prospectus mod for your hound, and it will also determine the polarity of one of the hound's mod slots. When you have everything you need, bring it back to legs and craft your hound. We will go over every single mod you can get now. We will start with the model, then continue with the brackets, and then we will end with the mods you get with the stabilizers. So yeah, let's go. Hyra model comes with the Null Audit mod, which will give it the ability to strip 50% of the overguard of the Eximus enemy, and will also mimic the effects of those enemies for 60 seconds. It is a very useful ability to have since it will help you a lot with crowd control. Dorma model comes with the Repo Audit mod which will allow it to disarm enemies in a 30 meter radius every 20 seconds. This is amazing if you love to play melee survival missions or any other endless missions. The enemies will flock to you so you can easily kill them and it is also quite good if you don't have a crowd controlling warframe. Heck model comes with the Equilibrium Audit mod which will allow the Hound to use a burst shockwave attack that will throw enemies in a 15 meter radius on their asses. The ability to do shockwaves has a 30 second cooldown though, so yeah, it is not the best and in my opinion, it is the worst of all three Audit mods you can get on your Hound. And that's it with the Audit mods and the models of Hound. Now let's move to the brackets and the mods you get with them, the Denial mods. Cella Brackets will get you the Reflex Denial mod, which will make your hound generate a shield bubble every 10 seconds. The shield bubble will last 10 seconds and will absorb 90% of damage the hound would receive. The damage will accumulate and after some time, your hound will release a burst of energy that will deal the damage he received in a 12 meter radius with magnetic status effect. It is quite insane in some high level missions, but the damage is magnetic, so it is not that useful. Urga Brackets will get you the Diversified Denial mod which will allow your hound to split into three pieces, which will fight for 30 seconds and will deal 85% of the hound's collective damage. If all the specters die, the hound will not get down but will reappear with a 50% health, so it is not that bad if you want more targets on the battlefield. And now the last brackets, the Zoo Brackets, they will get you the Evasive Denial mod. This mod will allow your hound to teleport away from the enemies. After it teleports away, it will also gain a shield of some kind, which will have a 75% chance of no damage to the hound. This shield sadly lasts only 8 seconds though, so it is not the best. After the hound uses the ability, it also has a 15 second cooldown, which is not the best at all, so I suggest you choose one of the other two denial mods. And now the last trio of hound parts, the stabilizers, which will give you the prospectus mods. Frag stabilizer will get you the focused prospectus mod, which will allow your hound to shoot a focused beam of energy at your enemies. The beam will deal heat damage, which you can improve if you add more heat mods onto your hound. The beam will push the enemies back as well, which is very fun to watch, but yeah, since your hound will be stationary for quite some time, while using this ability, it will take a lot of damage, so it is not the best if you ask me. The Hinta Stabilizer will get you the Synergized Prospectus mod, which will allow your hound to fire out an electric spark that will deal electricity damage to the first enemy in a 30 meter radius it touches. 
the spark will then ricochet up to seven times, so it will get seven more enemies, or a few enemies more times. It is quite a nice stunning ability if you ask me, but it, I don't like it, I don't know. And now the last stabilizer mod, Vans Stabilizer and the Aerial Prospectus mod. The ability the Hound gets with this mod is so fun to watch, at least for me. The Hound will call down an airstrike every 15 seconds or so, which will deal a massive amount of damage to a group of enemies in a 7 meter radius. It is so satisfying to watch if you hit a group of enemies, but yeah, that is all about the Prospectus mods, now let's go to the weapons you get with the Hound models. Now the thing is, the weapons are basically melee weapons, even though they look like they will shoot things at first glance. The only difference between the three weapons is the status type damage that they come with. The certain weapon comes with the Pahira model and deals slash and impact damage, great against shields and health. Bato 10 weapon comes with the Dorma model and it deals puncture and impact damage, perfect to use against armored robotic enemies. And lastly, the Ak-10 weapon comes with the Heck model. This weapon deals with puncture and slash damage, which is great against all Grenier enemies and also my favorite talent weapon of all of them, since I love to play against the Grenier. All the weapons you can get for your hounds have very low critical chance, but very high status chance and critical damage multiplier. So it really depends on how you want to play, but I recommend using hounds to apply status effects on the enemies. They are definitely not the best companions in the game, I would get that to Kavas or Vopophilas, but yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching, please let me know down in the comments below if you have any favorite hounds. For real now though, thank you for watching, please like, comment, share or maybe unsubscribe and also have a very nice day. Bye guys.